September 8th, and we are at Lee's farm today. We are doing the first steps for this Chuck Norris deer. And Lee introduced him on the show this past week, and he is an absolute toad, you guys. We did encounter him once last year, and it's just off my right shoulder is where we saw him. We had him on camera quite often, though, um, on this part. But I'm gonna be smiling this whole time because I am so pumped up and we are so confident about this spot and what we're doing today is essentially going to kill this deer come October. So this farm in a whole, it's a little under 200 acres. It's mostly destination ag. It's all corn this year, but there are a couple really good fingers that go through this. It's very similar to the types of farms that I hunt back home. And so far what we've learned, what this deer is doing, he's just coming off this ridge towards our direction, right to this corner. And this corner is a beautiful pinch point. The draw works out to the east and it works out to the north. It comes together right here. So it's smack dab in a great transition. But what we've done so far today is we came in, we've mowed this corn and we're come, gonna come in with a great plains drill. We're gonna no-till some oats in, get some green to come up. And you know, with this mowing this corn, I didn't even think about it until today, but we're just drawing these deer into this spot more so than maybe the neighbors or somewhere else. We're condensing these deer here for now. Two weeks later or a week later after we get some rain, green's gonna pop up and this is gonna be their transition into the destination food source. And you know, we are using big equipment today, but this is something, I mean, you guys, I mean, I could do this back home. If you hunt private or permission, you can ask the landlord, hey, can I carve out a quarter acre? That's all this is in size. And you can broadcast winter rye, but these oats, they have to be in the ground. We have to get some better seed to soil contact for it. But I am just absolutely... I'm sorry. Oh, shit. But I'm gonna get this plot drilled real quick. I'm gonna make a couple finishing touches and I'm gonna explain to you guys why I'm so positive that this is the exact spot where Lee is gonna kill Chuck Norris. I'm a roll. Now the easy part's done. All right, so why are we so confident in, the, in this spot? Past year's intel. When Lee and I saw this deer last year, he was moving right through this crossing. Last year we were hunting Big O here. This crossing right here, this transition into this plot, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a really, this is where Chuck Norris is gonna come from. So Chuck Norris has been all summer coming off this ridge up in front of me on the left and coming straight to this area. So that's why we picked this spot. But gosh, you guys, I mean, this is something that you guys could do back home. It's only a quarter acre, eighth of an acre in size. I mean, you guys, this is, we're talking about 200, 250 bucks here. I mean, this is a really, really cheap plot but it's gonna be so bulletproof, not only early season, but late season too. I mean, this is the destination food source. It's where they're gonna be coming every night to come out to feed. It's all corn and these deer are transitioning out of the bedding that is to our south. They're coming here, they're gonna get their transition food, their little appetizer, so to say. I mean, think about it, when you guys go out to eat and you order an appetizer to get you guys prepared for the main meal, well, that's what these deer are gonna do on these oats. They're gonna work from these oats out to this destination field. So I'm calling the shot. We're gonna probably put a redneck right here in a trailer. Those things are so bulletproof. I mean, I've been kind of preaching the last few years ever since I started using them on Lee's farm. I mean, you can put that trailer blind out there the day of, and those deer are gonna walk 15, five yards. I mean, w without any problems. It, they think it's farm equipment. So we've got to stand for a south wind. We've got to stand or a blind for a north wind. I mean, this spot is just so bulletproof, you guys. We've used past intel to choose this spot, but honestly, it's just, 
it's the pinch point that makes it so good. So there's one more step that we're gonna do to make this spot even better. We're gonna put a scrape post right in the middle. I know you guys are probably thinking, oh, how's that gonna make this spot better? Well, I use them to get the deer to naturally stop right in my bow range without having to spook the deer possibly by stopping him. Sun's going down, it's getting late. I've got a few more fields to plant um, yet tonight, but I'm just so excited about this spot because this is the spot. This is where Chuck Norris is going down, you guys. I can't wait to be behind the camera for Lee on this one. So, super unique deer, cool history. Can't wait for it to come together. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.